The Fess Middle School student who died after being hit by a car yesterday has now been identified as 12 year old Jonathan Smith. His tragic death is really raising concerns about traffic safety in and around the campus. 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro is live near Fort Apache and Mall Avenue where that little boy lost his life. Karen. Well, Denise, we first want to show you there is a growing memorial near where police say 12 year old Jonathan Smith was hit and killed by a driver who couldn't stop in time to prevent the crash. Now, in the last few years, there have been some changes to traffic signals in the area, which has only seen a handful of minor crashes. That's, of course, until yesterday afternoon. Fest Middle School students are mourning the death of their classmate, who many know as Johnny. Police say the 12-year-old ran across Fort Apache south of Mall Avenue when he was struck by a car. He was not in a marked crosswalk. I witnessed when I was passing by, like the um, little boy laying on the ground, so I seen the traffic. I don't want the, the traffic people to get frustrated and try to go around him. Images from Google Earth dated May 2018 show school zone flashers on the north and south sides of Mall Avenue on Fort Apache. This is the intersection where Fess Middle School is located. Both are now gone. Clark County says the decision was made after the traffic signal was installed, which is about 500 yards from where the crash happened. A spokesperson adds, quote, in light of this tragic accident, we will study the area to see if any changes are warranted. I just want to walk with my daughter so I know it's going to be safe. There are school zone flashers around the front entrance of Fest Middle School on Mall Avenue west of Fort Apache. Per crash records from the Nevada Office of Traffic Safety, in the last three years there have been no pedestrian crashes and only a handful of motor vehicle collisions in the area where the student was killed. Um, I think they need a lot more crossing guards because over here the, the, what is this, the elementary school has crossing guards and I don't like to see crossing guards for this age kid. Now, a vigil to remember Johnny is planned for tomorrow evening starting at 6.30 at Fest Park. Reporting live, Karen Castro, 8 News Now. Thank you.